out the world with a little more truth. I got a couple more words. What is up, guys? It is Nate Show here, and uh, today I got you guys a Cyber Dragon deck profile uh, of the Cyber Dragon Eidolon deck that I made. Um, it's it's honestly pretty simple. Um, it just focuses around bringing out like a, a Mechaba and a Infinity. Um, it has a Rampage as like a just in case you know you get your Overload fusions and your Cyber Dragons in grave, and uh, yeah. So, you know, just, if you, if you hear my friend there in the background just, uh, snoring, just, uh, don't mind that. <laughs> uh, so, three of, three of the kaiju, um, the reason why you run three is because, A, he's a target for Chimera Tech, and B, um, once you get a, a Cyber Dragon Engrave, you can just search him from your deck without having to play, uh, Slumber, so you can search a kaiju without having to play Slumber, which is pretty nice. Um, three Cyber Dragons. I was playing two, and I ended up bumping it back up to three. Honestly, you, you want to get Cyber Dragon Engrave as fast as possible, so you can use Cyber Repair Plant. Um, I do play Foolish, but I never actually drew into it, so it's kind of 50-50. So Triple Galaxy Soldier, he's really useful. He's pretty much a quick infinity, um, and if you use a Cyber Dragon as well, um, you know, just bring back a Cyber Dragon before you go into infinity with uh, galaxy soldier so you know like you go uh soldiers if you have a like any one of these uh cyber dragon guys in your graveyard you special them back and then oh my god jarvis i don't care <laughs> this this freaking yu gi -Oh pro does that a lot it um just opens up messages from like uh spam bots asking you to donate or look at their youtube like boy i got my own youtube all right, so uh, yeah, uh, Galaxy Soldier's nice. It's it's pretty understandable. And uh, Thunder Dragon, he's mainly here for Galaxy Soldier. So if you get uh, Thunder Dragon, uh, you drop one, search two. Um, you know, um, Galaxy Soldier is searchable through the repair plant. So um, it's not that bad of a combo. But um, the reason why uh, he's here is because you can also go into a twin headed thunder dragon if you have an extra um, invocation. It's called invocation in English. It says, I want somebody magic here. That's the OCG name. Um, if you have extra invocation in your hand, then um, yeah, you can just go into a twin headed thunder dragon. Um, it's more just a situational thing, it's not really that OP. But it's all right. Um, so Solar Windjammer, he's he's pretty much just the extra Cyber Dragon, um, except he doesn't require you to uh, your opponent to have monsters, which is pretty nice. But um, that does end up uh, getting in the way sometimes because he's not a Cyber Dragon, so in grave he is kind of useless. So Triple Dre, now you're gonna see one's way here and Triple Core. Um, as I said before, you want to see your Cyber Dragons in Grave as fast as possible. So that's the reason I, I run him. He may not count Cyber Dragon on board, but in Grave he counts as Cyber Dragon. And on board, if you reveal like a spell card in your hand, like uh, the Invocation, uh, then he becomes a Cyber Dragon as well. And uh, yeah, and uh, Dre is just normal summon, make all your Cyber Dragon monsters level five. So. Oh no, he just makes all Cyber Dragons, period. So make sure if you normal summon him and you want to go into uh, Nova, just reveal a spell with Sway. If, if Sway's on board, if Core is on board, or if Dragon's on board, then you're fine. But if Sway's on board, just make sure you have a spell card uh, first. So triple um, Alistair, uh, you, you, always, you always run around through him. This deck doesn't really need its normal summon, honestly. Uh, which is why Alistair runs so good in this deck. The only time you really need your normal summon is for core if you want to search a repair plant. Uh, Dre is very situational. He, he only really, like, usually you can make a infinity without him because you have Galaxy Soldier, but if you need a normal summon him, but you have to choose between infinity or a 
Alistair. I would probably choose Alistair based on the situation. Maxi, the standard, and the core is standard, normal summonable, and his banish effect is nice. I only wish you could activate it any time, it, instead of just when you have no monsters, and your opponent does. Like, it would have been so much better if you just banish it any time. Like, I think this deck would be a whole lot more consistent. So Overload Fusion, you run it for your Rampage, which is why you want Cyber Dragons in Graveyard, because, um, pretty much he, he's kind of like, like, with the field spell, he's kind of like a Harpy's Fetter Duster. So what you do is you Overload Fusion, you banish like two or more Cyber Dragons, then he pops spell and chop cards equal to the number of Cyber Dragons he banished when he summoned. So if you banish two, he pops two spell and chop cards, you banish three, he pops three. Now the good thing about him, which I honestly like, is that if you have two Overload Fusions in, uh, in your hand, so you, so you go into one using your Rampage, and the Rampage gets to mill two Light Machine type monsters from your deck uh, so that he can attack that many times per turn. So uh, you can mill two more Cyber Dragons and then he gets to attack three times, and uh, which is pretty nice. And uh, if you have another Overload Fusion, then you can just go into another one, pop more back row, and then he can attack uh, three more times if you mill another two. Or if you have another two to mill. But, um, honestly, uh, Alistair is also pretty nice with Rampage because Alistair can make Rampage 3100, like 3100 attacking three times in a row. Like, that is pretty, pretty broken, honestly. And, um, so next we have a Raigeki. It's, uh, pretty standard. Two Invocation, you searchable with, uh, Alistair. Honestly, because of that, you, you could only run one if you wanted, but running two just makes it so that you can see it without having to see Alistair first. Like, you can just play it, like, in case you get, like, Thunder Dragons, or in case you get, like, all these Cyber Dragons in your hand, and you're like, oh, okay, well, I want to make a Rampage. Okay, well, go into these, like, like you just use two Cyber Dragons, go into Rampage, go into more, and then you go into Overload Fusion. Possible combo. Uh, Foolish, he's more for core, because core can banish himself, especially when Cyber Dragon from the deck. Uh, the rest, it's only if you want a Cyber Dragon target in Grave, so that's really what he's used for. Uh, repair Plant, Searches, pretty standard. Uh, Eidolon, uh, the Reckless Magic, Magical Meltdown, it searches your Alistair, and it, uh, it's actually pretty nice with um, Rampage because they can't chain to the effect nor can they negate the activation of the spell card that summons it. So it's pretty nice. So trap card is just double barrier because it's pretty standard. And the one warning, because if you're only playing one, then warning is better than strike. There's no doubt about that. Um, you don't really need monster negation because you have Mechapa or Merkaba, as he's called here, which is his original name. But if you have a Merkaba, then you don't really need to worry about monster negation. Just worry about negating summons. And you know, this doesn't stop uh, fusion spell cards that aren't your own, too. So for the extra deck, uh, Cyber End, he's more of just here um, in case you ever want to play Malefic Cyber Dragon. It's, it's honestly something you could do. You could just play another rank 4. You don't really need uh, action deck past Merkaba, Chimera Tech, Rampage, and Infinity, and Nova. So you have like quite a bit of space. Um, this guy, I don't know how to use this guy, honestly. He's just here because he, he has a good effect. Chimera Tech is just to Kaiju your opponent's monster and then go into Chimera Tech. Uh, Thunder End, I mean, not Twin Headed. <laughs> I mean, not Thunder End, but Twin Headed, Thunder Dragon. You know, for the double thunder dragon, rampage, uh, Infinities, novas, and the one Castell. You could play instant fusion and Norden and uh, was it Panther Dragon if you want. I mean, there, there's a whole lot of options in this deck, but um, it's honestly it's not needed, but it could speed the deck up if uh, you find some something to take out, like the thunder dragons, like. You can speed a deck up playing Panzer Dragon and 
uh, instant fusion. But yeah, there's there's no side deck, so I, I guess that's really it for this deck. Uh, this is Nisha here. If you want to check out the duels um, that this deck did, um, there's another video uh, that um, I'm just gonna link in the description. And uh, this was Nisha here. Nisha out.